Good evening. I will call this regular Township Council meeting of June 21st, 2022 to order. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in accordance with the requirements of the Open Public Meetings Law by filing a notice in the office of the Township Clerk and by posting the meeting notice on the bulletin board at the Municipal Building on December 22nd, 2021, where it has remained posted since that date. A legal notice appeared in the Daily Record on December 28th, 2021, and the Newark Star Ledger on December 27th, 2021. Council meetings are videotaped and aired on Public Access Channel 21 at 7 p.m. Sundays and Wednesdays, and are also available for viewing at www.parsippany.net. Would you all join me in the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Ms. Grignani. Present. Mr. Carifi. Here. Mr. Musella. Present. Mr. Neglia. Here. Mr. DePiro. Here. Also in attendance are Mayor Jamie Barbario, Business Administrator Fred Carr, Township Attorney Michael Lavery, and Township Clerk Colette Madden. Council President, we have a quorum. You may begin. Thank you. Upcoming meetings, July 5th, 2022, 7 p.m. Agenda meeting, July 19th, 2022, 7 p.m. Our regular meeting. Approval of minutes. Approval of minutes, agenda meeting 5322, regular meeting 51722. Motion to approve the minutes above by myself. Second. Motion made by Mr. Neglia, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. Carifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Mr. Musella. Yes. Mr. Neglia. Yes. Mr. DePiro. Yes. Motion passes. Presentations, Mayor, you're up. I have none. Okay, uh, thank nothing you. Nothing to report. Township Council. You got something? I was going to do that under um, okay. committees. Yeah, committees. I do it under committees. Okay. Thank you. All right, under Township Council, I still have uh, uh, my recommendation for a street dedication for Lee Kimmel. Um What I was thinking uh, as a suggestion we might consider is um, with Rockaway Neck First Aid Squad in the r, &R building, the ingress is named after Bob Deckenbach mm -hmm. for his 45 years of volunteer service to the ambulance squad. There, can we name the egress uh, after Lee uh, Kyle? Okay. I don't know. I don't know if that's an official street or not. I'm not sure. It might be. I'll ask um, Justin Lisa. Township Attorney. Uh, no report, Council President. Business Administrator? Nothing. Township Clerk? Uh, no report at this time, Council President. Thank you. Township Offices, Committees, and Reports? <coughs> Mrs. Graniani? Mr. President, Sunday, June 26th, Gourmet Cafe will be celebrating 15 years in business. We wish them much more success. Thursday, June 30th, there will be a ribbon cutting at 6.30 for Venture X Recording Studio, located at 6 Campus Drive. Friday, July 1st, Funny Books, <coughs> located on North Bedwick Road in Lake Hiawatha, will be celebrating their 30th anniversary. The Economic Development Committee will have a meeting on July 6th at 6.30 at 90 East Halsey Road. Our guest speaker will be Mike Sanzillo, Chairman Morris Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Sanzillis will speak regarding funds available for small business owners. I understand there is approximately $2 million still available for small business owners to apply. And uh, Mr. Sanzillis will be at our meeting on um, the 6th of July. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, engineering report. 
Green Bank Road Safety and Improvements Project. The project is complete except for the guardrail replacement. Underground utilities could not be moved, but we have received approval from the NJDEP to adjust the stream bed to allow more space for new guardrail installation. Work will begin in the next few months once materials become available. No council action required. 2021 Road Resurfacing Curb and Sidewalk Program. The annual Road Resurfacing Curb and Sidewalk Project will commence in a few weeks. No council action required. Pudding Stone Heights Road Improvement Project Phase 1 construction on the Pudding Stone Heights Improvement Project is continuing. We anticipate the project being completed by the beginning of August. No council action required. Rock River, River Flood Well Wall and Levee Inspection. An inspection was conducted on the Rockway River Flood Wall and Levee System. The report indicated the system is in good shape and recommended several maintenance and repair items that should be addressed. We are presently working with our consultant on preparing design details and cost estimate for the repair work. All vegetation within five feet of the wall and toe of the slope is being cleared in accordance with our inspection requirements. No council action required. Traffic signal maintenance for Littleton Road, Rita Drive, Beechwood Road, and Jefferson Road and Smith Road intersections. This project is for improvements and maintenance to the traffic signals located at the Littleton Road and Rita Drive, Beechwood Road intersection, and the Jefferson Road and Smith Road intersection. The improvements include the replacement of various signal detection and controller equipment that have failed. Work will begin once equipment is available. No council action required. Mount Tabor Street Improvements Phase 7. The Mount Tabor Street Improvements Phase 7 project is in design. We anticipate bidding this project next month. No council action required. Lake Interville Area Street Improvements. The first phase of Lake Interville Area Street Improvement Project is in design. We anticipate bidding this project next month. No council action required. Rockaway Design Projects. The following projects are in design where proposals have been requested. Drumlin Drive Stream Cleaning. Jefferson Road Drainage Improvements. North Beverick Road Streetscape Improvements. Troy Brook Stream Cleaning. Silver Wade Sidewalk Improvements. River and Stream Desnagging. Plans and Permits. Etten Road Traffic Study. No council action required. Thank you. Bids taken. 5-12-22, supply of manic polymer for wastewater treatment plant. 5-19-22, well development services. Wells 3, 10, 4, and 4A. And pumping system replacements for wells 3, 10, 4, and 4A. 5-2022, Vail Water Tank Painting and Rehabilitation. 5-25-22, one new Roland RTW 540 Traffic Works 54-inch Traffic Sign Print Cut with CWT 1428 Work Table and Flatbed Applicator for Parks and Forestry Department. Also 5-25-22, Fabrication and installation of new wood shutters at the Smith Baldwin House. 52622 2022 Road Resurfacing Curb and Sidewalk Program. 6222 Rental of Golf Carts. Bids to be taken. 62322 Ambulance Billing and Collection Services for EMS. Now I'll entertain a motion to open this meeting to the public. Take a motion. Second. Second. Motion made by Mr. Carifi, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. Carifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Mr. Misella. Yes. Mr. Neglia. Yes. Mr. DePiro. Yes. The floor is open to the public on any matter. You have five minutes to speak. Seeing no one come forward. Entertain the motion to close. Make the Boy Scouts don't want to say anything either. Okay, good to see you. I'll make a motion to close. Second. Motion made by Mr. Karifi, seconded by Mr. Neglia. Roll call. Mr. Karifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Mr. Musella. Yes. Mr. Neglia. Yes. And Mr. DePiro. Yes. Floor is closed. Ordinance is for introduction. Mrs. Grignani. Ordinance 2022-17, an ordinance of the Township <coughs> Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, County of Morris, State of New Jersey, amending Chapter 225 Land Use, Subdivisions, and Site Plans of the Code of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills. 
Be it resolved that the above ordinance be introduced, read by title, and passed on first reading at a meeting of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, held on June 21st, 2022, and that said ordinance be further considered for second reading and final passage at a meeting to be held on July 19th, 2022, at 7 p.m. prevailing time, or as soon thereafter as the matter may be reached at the municipal building in said township, at which time all persons interested shall be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance. Be it further resolved that the clerk be authorized and directed to advertise said ordinance with the notice of introduction thereof being published in the official newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the above resolution by myself. Second. Second. Motion made by Ms. Grignani, seconded by Mr. Neglia. Roll call. Uh, Mr. Carifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Mr. Misella. Yes. Mr. Neglia. Yes. And Mr. DePiro. Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 2022, colon 18, an ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hill, Morris County, New Jersey, authorizing the conveyance of blocks, block 765, lot 66, and 81.1 to Wildlife Preserves, Incorporated. Be it resolved that the above ordinance be introduced, read by title, and passed on first reading at a meeting of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills held on June 21st, 2022, and that said ordinance be further considered for second reading and final passage at a meeting to be held on July 19th, 2022 at 7 p.m. prevailing time or as soon thereafter as the matter may be reached at the municipal building in said township, at which time all persons interested shall be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance be it further resolved that the clerk be authorized and directed to advertise said ordinance with the notice of introduction thereof being published in the official newspaper according to law. Motion to approve resolution made by myself. Second. Motion made by Mr. Musella, seconded by Mr. Carifi. Roll call, Mr. Carifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Mr. Musella. Yes. Mr. Neglia. Yes. Mr. DePiro. Yes. Motion passes. Okay, before uh, I offer ordinance 22, 2022, colon 19, this is one that was added last minute to our agenda, and I don't believe any of the council members saw uh, any backup data regarding this ordinance. However, at uh, around 2.30 when I spoke to our township attorney, and he mentioned Woodmont Properties, um, no place in the ordinance doesn't mention Woodmont properties, but once you mentioned that, I realized we had seen some backup data way back in January. It says here, via hand delivery, Mayor James R. Barbario delivered this. Um, I did Barber. review it at that time. This is on Interpace Parkway. Um, Woodmont Senior Living. I'll, I'll read one paragraph so the other members that haven't seen it. Senior Living, a division of Woodmount Properties, is a contractor purchaser of the above property located in the Morris Corporate Park. And then I go on for the, to give you some of their history. It says, we recently created a senior housing division and plan to develop a senior continuum that will include independent living, assisted living, and a small memory care neighborhood, the project. We believe our plan represents the next step in luxury senior living, and we are targeting only demographically strong communities for opening. The use permits local seniors to age in place and will contain a multitude of indoor and outdoor dining and recreational amenities, developed similarly to Woodmont's well-known luxury multifamily properties. And they have attached some images um, Anybody wants to come up later and look at it, I'll make it available. This was their little pamphlet that they handed out. Uh, so you can come up and look at it later. But but uh, the council kind of got caught cold when we didn't realize that this ordinance pertained to Woodmount, which I believe we all received. Okay, with that, I will offer it. Ordinance 2022, colon 19. Amending the zoning ordinance of the township of Pacific Troy Hills Township Code Chapter 430 to permit limited continuum of care LCOC communities 
has a conditional use in the ROL zoning district and amending paragraph 430-8 terms defined in connection with such use. Be it resolved that the above ordinance be introduced, read by title, and passed on first reading at a meeting of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills held on June 21st, 2022, and that said ordinance be further considered for a second reading and final passage at a meeting to be held on July 19th, 2022, at 7 p.m. prevailing time, or as soon thereafter as the matter may be reached at the municipal building in said township, at which time all persons interested shall be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance. Be it further resolved that the clerk be authorized and directed to advertise said ordinance with the notice of introduction there are being published in the official newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the above resolution. Second. Motion made by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call. Mr. Carifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Mr. Musella. Yes. Mr. Neglia. Yes. Mr. DePiro. Yes. Motion passes. Okay, second reading. Okay, second reading and public hearing, ordinance 2022-15, an ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Precipitate Troy Hills, Morris County, New Jersey, amending chapter 119, canvas of the code of the Township of Precipitate Troy Hills. The notice for ordinance 2022-15 was published in the Daily Record, the official newspaper of the Township of Precipitate Troy Hills on May 23rd, 2022, and introduced at the May 17th, 2022 meeting. Motion to accept ordinance 2022-15 be heard in their second and final reading by title only by myself. Second. Motion made by Mr. Neglia, seconded by Mr. Carifi. Roll call, Mr. Carifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Mr. Musella. Yes. Mr. Neglia. Yes. Mr. DePiro. Yes. Motion passes. Public hearing. Motion to open the public hearing for ordinance 2022-15 by myself. Second. second. Motion made by Mr. Neglia, seconded by Mr. Carifi. Roll call. Mr. Carifi? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Mr. Musella? Yes. Mr. Neglia? Yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Floor is open to the public on this ordinance only. Seeing no one come forward, entertain a motion to close. Second. Motion. Sorry. That's, motion. That's uh, Frank's job. Okay. Yeah, motion to close the public hearing for ordinance 2022-15 by myself. Second. Motion made by Mr. Neglia, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call. <coughs> Mr. Carifi? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Mr. Musella? Yes. Mr. Neglia? Yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Floor is closed. Whereas the above ordinance was read in title on second reading and a hearing held hereon, now therefore be it resolved that said ordinance be passed on final reading and that notice of final passage of said ordinance be published in the newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the resolution above for ordinance 2022-15 by myself. Second. Motion made by Mr. Neglia, seconded by Mr. Carifi. Roll call, Mr. Carifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Mr. Musella? Yes. Mr. Neglia? Yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Motion passes. Now, Mr. Collette, we, um, I asked you to check and see what the proper dollar amount was on 2022-106. Yes. And it looked like, uh, it was a little confusing, Council President. Thank you. That's why I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the ordinance says $11 million. Uh, seven, 11 million. The resolution says $11 million 733. Correct. Um, but this write-up says $8 million. Yeah. So which is correct. The, uh, the 11 million 733. Okay, so this write-up is incorrect. So we'll have to just correct that for the record. Okay, Mrs. Granyani. Resolutions R2022-106. Determining the form and other details of its, quote, note retaining relating to the Water Bank Construction Financing Program of the New Jersey Infrastructure Bank, bank end of quote, to be issued in the principal amount of up to Eleven million seven hundred thirty-three thousand five hundred dollars, and providing for the issuance and sale of such note to the New Jersey Infrastructure Bank, and authorizing the execution and delivery of such note by the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills in favor of the New Jersey Infrastructure Bank, all pursuant to the Water Bank Construction Financing Program of the New Jersey Infrastructure Bank. Motion to approve by myself. Second. 
Motion made by Ms. Grignani, seconded by Mr. Neglia. Roll call. Mr. Carifi? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Mr. Musella? Yes. Mr. Neglia? Yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Motion passes. Consent agenda, be it resolved, all items listed with an asterisk are routine and non-controversial by the Township Council will be approved by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless the Council members so request, in which case the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda by myself. Second. Motion made by Mr. Carifi, seconded by Mr. Neglia. Roll call. Mr. Carifi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Mr. Musella. Yes. Mr. Neglia. Yes. Mr. DePiro. Yes. Motion passes. Approval of payroll and bills list. CFO Juan <laughs> Uribe recommends authorization for payment. Number one, authorized payment of the June 24th, 2022 regular and miscellaneous payroll estimated at 1.6 million. Number two, payment of bills from voucher list of June 15th, 2022 through June 17th, 2022 is $3,464,527.43. Motion to approve the authorization for a payment made by myself. Second. Motion made by Mr. Musella, seconded by Mr. Karifi. Roll call. Mr. Carifi? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Mr. Musella? Yes. Mr. Neglia? Yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Motion passes. And the ultimate motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. 21 motion. minutes. That's a record. Yeah, it is a record. Motion made by Mr. Carifi, seconded by Mr. Neglia. Roll call. Mr. Carifi? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Mr. Musella? Yes. Mr. Neglia? Yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Have a good night, everyone. If anyone wishes to see this wood mount, I'll leave it up here.